What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog, gonna show you how to jailbreak the iPhone 4S and iPad 2 using the command line interface on the Mac. Yes, on the Mac this time. Now, most Mac users probably are gonna just wanna use the GUI tool, but for those of you who wanna use the command line interface, here it is. Here is the C-inject package right here, and I've extracted it, of course, and you see all the files there, C-inject, there's the Windows file if you wanna use that payloads, read me, etc. So open up a terminal command here, and then you want to just CD to your desktop, because I've extracted this to my desktop, and then CD directly into the folder for C inject. So CD space C inject underscore 0 0.4.3 enter. And now we can do a LS to view all the file contents there. You can see the file contents there, payloads folders there, C inject, etc. Now, what I do recommend that you do if this is your first time doing this especially is open up the readme file that comes bundled with the zip file for c-inject and just peruse all of that a bit. It does give some very uh, low-level details on how to use this particular um, application. It also gives you the explicit commands to use to actually jailbreak your iPhone 4S using the command line utility if I can get it out right. So now let's start to jailbreak our iPhone 4S. I have it hooked up. The uh, computer is recognizing it. So let's just type sudo space. And then we want to type in period slash C inject space dash I space payloads slash jailbreak dot mobile config. And then hit return on your keyboard. It should ask for your password. Put your administrator password in there. And then you should notice on your iPhone 4S something that looks a little like this. You'll see the install profile menu pop up just like that and then you'll see jailbreak you should go ahead and tap on install then install now and then tap next and then done so now that particular profile is on your phone let's get back over to our mac and we're going to execute a few more commands to get this jailbreak completed now the first thing you want to put in is period slash c inject space dash j payloads and then enter now, I made a mistake here purposely just to show you guys, just to prove a point that you have to be careful how you do this. You see, you're going to get some errors here in just a second. You see that fatal line 1266 error? Well, that's a, there's a reason behind that, and that's because you did not use sudo. So let's go back and put in sudo to prefix that and then enter because this needs the necessary security in order to accomplish its task. So once you do that, you should notice a little something different at the end. It should look a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now we can execute the following command, sudo space period slash c inject space dash w. Then you should see your screen look like this. Now head over to your iPhone and you want to go into, you can either do it two ways. You can go into VPN if you have VPN right there, or what I recommend is just go into general and then go into network and then VPN. Then turn your VPN on, toggle it on. You'll see it loading a little bit and then you'll get an error. This error is perfectly normal. Don't worry about this. Uh, you should see a configuration error, a, VP, a configuration error occur for the VPN connection. That's fine. You can just go ahead and tap OK. You should see the phone reboot just like that. And then if you look at your screen on your terminal window, you'll see a flood of information going by just like this just like that see that so you're gonna see all this information some of it may look completely foreign to you some of it may look like there's an error or something of that nature but just don't worry about it just let it do its thing it's fine um, and then once it completes your phone should reboot and you should have Cydia on your home screen so we'll give it a second here and it's still working and you'll see all of this scroll by really fast. That is a very good thing. Then you'll see Wi-Fi manager stopping. That is your key that it's okay to go ahead and unlock your device once everything comes back up here. So there's the Apple logo. And you should see a little loading bar here in just a second indicating that we're in the home stretch. How about I speed this up just a little bit so we can get through this here. I'm gonna speed it up a few times over and there we go so now we are at our home screen unlock and there is Cydia folks so that is how you jailbreak your iPhone 4s or your iPad 2 using the command line utility on a Mac make sure you use sudo that's very important and just follow along it's super easy read the readme file for some further instruction on how to use this and then you should be good to go let me know what you guys think in the comment section this is Jeff with iDownloadBlock